Hello everyone, this is Manish Shohan from jagoinvestor.com. In this video, I'm going to explain you what is FATCA and how you can update this information online. Let me give you a very brief background. So uh, sometime in 2010, US has come up with uh, an act called as FATCA and there's a treaty between US and various countries and because of that, all the financial institutions in India are taking some additional information from all the investors. All the AMCs, what they have to do is they are contacting their investors, their existing investors, and they are taking some additional information from these investors. So you, if you are invested in, let's say, two or three mutual funds, you have to update this information in all the AMCs. Now it's going to be cumbersome and time consuming to give this information to each and a, each and every AMC. So what has happened is CAMS and Carvi, these are the two agencies which serves different kind of mutual funds. So they have come up with a link and you can update this information online in just five minutes. It will not take more than that. So this video is mainly to help you understand how you can do that. So this information has to be updated by the end of 2015. Uh, uh, that is 31st of December 2015. If you do not update this information, what will happen is your existing SIPs or any new investment which you want to do, you will not be able to do that. So this information has to uh, be updated before that. So let's start with the first link. So, so there are many mutual funds which are serviced by CAMS agency. So if you are invested in funds like Birla mutual fund, ICIC mutual fund, HDFC and, and uh, there are many others. As an example, I have taken these three. Then the first thing you have to do is click on this link. Once you click on this link, you will come here. Then you have to click here on this link where it says individual investors can submit the information through online mode. Now, once you come here, the first thing you have to do is you have to select an AMC, any one AMC where you are invested. So if you are invested in, let's say, Billa, DSP, HDFC and ICIC, let's say all four of them. What you can do is you can choose any one of them and you have to complete this task by choosing any one fund. So once you do that, all that information which you give here, that will get propagated to all the all the fund houses which are serviced by CAMS. So let me choose Birla here. I'll put my pad here. Then you have to choose your date of birth. I'll choose that. And then you have to put your bank account number, which is available with that funds record. So whichever bank account you are using for your investment, put the same bank account here. Okay. Once you do that and you click on generate OTP, once you click on that, you will see a message saying OTP sent to your mobile number and email ID if available, registered in the last transacted folio. And this OTP is valid for 10 minutes. So now you can go back and check your email or phone. Okay, I just got the OTP on my mobile. So what I'll do is you can check your email also. It must have come there. So I'll put my OTP and then you have to proceed. So you have to click on submit. Once you do that, you will see additional information here. Okay, which you need to fill. Now let's see what are these. So you will see your name here. Then you have to choose that what is the type of address you had given at the time of uh, KYC. So was it a business address? What was it a residential? So a lot of investors give their office address in KYC. So whatever it is, you just have to choose that. So I'll choose mine. Then you have to choose country of birth. So for me, it is India. Uh, there might be a case uh, and there can be many investors for whom the country of birth is not India. Okay, many, many people, many investors are like that. So just make sure that you choose it correctly. Then the next thing is place of birth. So I'll put that. 
you have to put your gross annual income details in INR. So whatever you want to declare, you you choose that. So I'm choosing something randomly. Uh, you put net worth in lakhs. So you, net worth is very simple. Add up all your assets and minus all your liabilities and whatever number you get, you uh, uh, write it here. So just make sure you don't try to be very perfect here. Just uh, put a rough number that's enough. So I'll put 10 lakhs here or, or, or okay, I'll put 10 lakhs. The net worth due date. So I'll choose today's date. <clears throat> then occupation. So I'll, I'll say business. Are you politically exposed person? So you have to mention that are you related to politics? Are you, is someone in your family related to politics or into it? So I'll choose no here. Source of wealth. So I'll say <clears throat> business income. And then any other information which you want to mention here, uh, any, any other KYG related information. For most of the people, you will choose it blank. Is your country of tax residency other than India? Now, this is very info, in, very important. For most of the inf, for most of the investors, the default choice would be no. Okay, so if you choose no here, all you need to do after that is tick mark here on declaration part and then click on submit. But if you have tax residency outside India, for example, a uh, NRI who has gone to any other country, it can be US, it can be Canada, it can be Middle East, it can be UK, Australia, any other country. And if you are paying taxes in other country apart from India, in that case, you need to choose yes. So if you choose yes, there are a few other things you will have to fill. For example, I'm considering a case of an NRI. The first thing they have to choose is the country of tax residency. So let's say, for example, I'll choose Bahrain, for example, okay. So they have to, after that, they have to put their taxpayer identification number. What that means is just like in India, you have PAN in the same way you have, uh, you have something, something like that in other countries. So you have to put the number there and what is the identification type? So it can be, so for example, in US, there's something like GIIN or TIN. I don't know much about it. So you have to choose that and then you have to click on submit so uh, let me choose no again okay because this is for me and you have to tick mark on this declaration and then click on submit so once you do that it will say thanks for your submission and your fatca supplementary kyc information is updated so that this was regarding updating your fatca information on camps now let us check the next link which is carvey link so once you click on this this is where you will come and then you have to put your pan here so i'll put my pan and generate the otp now it might happen that so uh, in my case i have already updated the fatca information so it says fatca declaration is already completed if it is new like if it is totally new for you then there can be two things the first thing it will say is that it is not able to recognize your pan what it means is if you have not invested in any uh, mutual fund which is serviced by carvey then you will get that message so in that case you don't have to do anything in case you are invested in in a fund uh, which is serviced by carvey in that case you will again get the otp and after that, you have to fill the same information which we just saw in camps. You have to submit the same information there. There is no difference. So I'll not go uh, much into detail in Carvey link because it's the same thing. So I think this tutorial was helpful for you. So make sure you update this as soon as possible. Thanks a lot.